Welcome to Batch as a Programming Language Tutorial, with Viper 400 Guitar. Who is this tutorial for? This tutorial is for people who understand what MS-DOS is and how to use it. If you do not know what MS-DOS is or any commands please watch tutorials on MS-DOS before proceeding with these tutorials. This tutorial is for people who want to learn how to use batch scripting as a programming language. Before we continue we must understand what a batch script is and what it is not. A batch script is A plain text document containing MS-DOS commands to be executed line by line. Batch scripts are often opened in Windows operating systems using command prompt or cmd.exe. Batch scripts use the file extension .bat. A batch script is not a compiled programming language. This means the actual code used in batch programs cannot be hidden in any way and is free to reproduce. Because the code itself is open source batch scripts cannot effectively be sold for profit. Batch as a programming language tutorial section 0, syntax. What is covered in this tutorial? In this tutorial we will learn the syntax that I will be using for the preceding tutorials. Pause the video, open notepad and type in the following code, don't worry about the color coding. Now we will break down the program line by line. We will open the code with three comments denoting what the batch script is. The first line will contain the name of the tutorial the second the section, and the third will state which script we are looking at. The first line of actual code for all batch scripts will be, at echo off. At echo off tells command prompt not to repeat the location where the batch script is being executed from. And not to display the code being called, only to display what it is told to display during the program. Next we will create a label called start which is where our program will be placed. All programs will start with a call to the var set function. All programs will end with a go to the end label. Next we create the var set and var clear functions. We will learn functions in later tutorials. Finally we create the end label. The end label will first call the var clear function. Next it will output a blank line, then use the pause command. The pause command displays the text press any key to continue. When any key is pressed the end of the batch script is reached and the program exits. Here is another look at the complete script 0.0, .0 syntax. If you did not before, take time to pause the program and type the code into notepad. Create a directory calling it batch as a programming language tutorial. Use no spaces because that is the standard syntax for MS-DOS. Within this directory create another directory called 00 underscore syntax. Save your notepad document as 00.0 underscore syntax dot bat into this directory. Make sure your file does not automatically save as dot txt. Double click on the file to execute the batch program. The program should look like this. Thank you for watching batch as a programming language tutorial section 0. I look forward to seeing you in the next section.